All right, another Scream Box original, which is a Lithuanian slasher film, um, which we didn't know because we go into every film blind. Yeah. Uh, we had no idea what this is going to be about. And so when it turned into a slasher, maybe 45 minutes to an hour in, it, it has all the setup for a it slasher. Yeah. I just didn't know. I didn't know where it was going to head. No, so, yeah, it could have gone a few different ways, for sure. The premise of this movie is you have a bunch of kids who have graduated, and they want to throw a party. Their party gets canceled, so this kid kind of pulls a rabbit out of his ass in the last moment and gets them this cabin um, out in the middle of nowhere. Really bright idea. And they go to party there. While there, they are very disrespectful of um, some property yes. that's there, and that ends up not benefiting them. <laughs> and that's that. Um, okay, so as far as the film goes, I did like it. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's a fine slasher. It, it has some good character development. Some One that was actually fairly surprising and yeah. probably not the one that people would think I was talking about. Um, it's a different character, but uh, also our, our, you know, our main character. I, I quite like, even though that can be predictable ish, sure. especially in the end, it's very predictable, but I, I did like that because our main protagonist of the film um felt different yeah right it, it did feel different the characters felt a little bit different some of them didn't some of them are very archetypal mm -hmm. right and and that's to be ex expected with these kinds of films but um there are two good kills in the movie one is great and actually kind of surprised me yeah. and if all the kills were like that i would be reporting back to you that this was definitely worth your time as slasher fans there's one really cool kill here it's it's even though it is never cut away anything it's a it's a very effective kill it, it involves yeah. glass that's all i'll say and i was very i was very impressed with it even though technically you don't really see anything no but, you but it do. has a really yeah it has a really cool effect yes it does that it kill is. was awesome. Yeah. I was like, whoa. Yeah, I wish that all the kills were like that. Because that would have definitely made this a much cooler film. I liked it. I liked the like last act the best, I think, of the film. I think that when things start to ramp up and stuff is happening yeah. is when you know some twists are coming and, and whatnot. And even though they are predictable, some of them at least, um, I still enjoyed it. And... I think that the ending is pretty great. Uh, nice commentary. Sure. So even though I found the ending to be predictable in the moment, it complements the film very well. Yeah. Like it, it is the ending that it should have yeah. and works to the story they've told throughout. So had they been able to hide it a little better, or I watch too many movies, whatever it is. I all I was just kind of like, okay, this is this is a very good ending for this movie. Yeah. I just wish that it could have been more of a oh sure right yeah. surprise for me. Then I would have been like, whoa. Then my rating definitely would have went up, and I would probably be telling you this is good. So I think if they could have nailed the ending in a more surprising way, and the kills all could match that that glass one. Yeah, you would be talking about like a legit slasher here, like sure. a really really solid one that I would be like raving about right now. Yeah, that's like the things. I mean, you could throw in some boobs. We are talking about like you know uh, kids on drugs yeah. at parties, all trying to screw each other. It, this film has literally like almost no sexuality to it at all outside of no. one horny couple who keeps trying to go screw but can't seem to do it. Yeah, um, none of that stuff that. Is, is is important to be honest. Like the boobs are always like a, it, it's always like a bonus, but it's not really all that necessary. 
What is necessary, though, in a slasher is great kills. This does feature two. One really good one and one great one. And then all the rest I could do without. Yeah. And that sucks because there's like 30 deaths. There's a lot of kills <clears throat> in this. But some of them are like not really off camera, but kind of off camera enough for like in the background of shots. So it's like you don't really see like details of what's happening. But it's also set in a scene where things are moving like really quickly. So like that's fine. But yeah, I think that a lot of the kills were just pretty basic. Very basic. So. And two notes here. Number one, there. This is not a traditional slasher in the sense of like the stock and slash. Mm -hmm. This is more of a mass murder slasher film, right? Yeah. So like when the killer comes, the killer comes hard. Yeah. This ain't no picking them off one at a time. This is we're hitting them from the front, <laughs> and we're killing everyone. Yeah. Um, which I do like those, and I feel that they're rarer. Um, so I was a fan of that. Um, and the other thing was, oh, what did I, well, uh, I think I might have lost it, which is a shame because I, I did want to mention this. Um, I don't remember. Damn it. Sorry. That's that's the you know that's what happens with the one takers, right? Yeah. I don't have time to sit there and reflect and write notes and be like, mm, and then edit and, and all that shit. I, I gotta hit it on the fly, or you don't get it. Yeah. But it it, it is a good it is a good slasher. Um, I just I really wish they could have landed these kills. Yeah. Uh, that would have that would have absolutely helped. Um, and. The as far as the killer goes, the killer is fairly generic. I mean, I, I don't find him like I don't dislike it. He was just like you said, generic. I think he's pretty basic. He kind of reminds he been me. Cooler. He kind of reminds me of something that they would like throw into like a um, like a standard version of uh, Dead by Daylight, like. He like reminded characters. me, yeah, like a, yeah, I know. I was going to say he reminded me of, like, Fear Street. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, he would just be, like, an OG character in Dead by Daylight. Yeah, just kind of a stock, like a stock but killer. But some of, yeah, he's a stock killer. But that's almost, because I like some of the Dead by Daylight killers that they have, and I think they're cool. But he's, like, very basic. I remembered it. Thank God. Uh... The second note here, this isn't a huge thing, but oh my God, there's one scene mm. that is so frustrating. And I, it might be realistic, I don't know, but you're screaming at the television. Yeah. You're just yelling at it. They have so much time to do something. So much. I mean, an, an insane amount of time. Yeah. And they to help like someone out gonna take forever and they decide no like we don't have the time <laughs> bro you couldn't have more time they had tons and it just you're literally like screaming at the scene I, I, at the screen i do i am glad that one of them addresses it yeah it's it's brought up but dude it's brought up this was times, one of actually. the more frustrating like scenes of we should help no we can't that i've watched in a while yeah because it was, it, if you're going to do a scene like that, you have to make it be somewhere in the realm of believability that the person's not, not going to make it before the killer gets right. there or whatever. But when they're at the door and the killer's like literally 500 feet away, mm -hmm. <laughs> that stuff, I will, that, it literally makes no sense. There's no way. I'm calling bullshit. Yeah. There's no way somebody isn't letting them in. So anyways, that's that. Um, I think it's worth your time if you're a slasher fan. Uh, yeah. I think it has a solid enough ending and some good kills and character development and acting is all fine and good. Um, and and it doesn't, story-wise with the characters, it doesn't go in traditional ways. So, no, it doesn't. I like that. 
Me so, too. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. It was good. Could have been great. Could have been great. Could have been a contender. Not a contender, but it was good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So if you guys, if you guys have Screambox, check it out. Let us know. Bye. Bye.